Good day! I've often been asked to do a video on how to analyze box plot or box and whiskers. So here it is. In front of us is the question from the 2021 NCA chance and data paper on box plot. So we shall tackle this question now. So in New Zealand, all dogs over three months old must be registered with the local council. A random sample of 60 councils have been selected using the data collected from 2019. The display below compares the number of crossbreed dogs and pure breed dogs registered with this council. So if you can look at the graph there, there are two graphs actually. One is called the box plot and the other is called the dot plot. Okay, So we are going to analyze them both. So first thing to analyze is the center. Okay, The center is, there are three centers in fact, the mean, mode and median. Okay, So the mean the mode is the, uh, the the center that we will not use in level two, two, 1 analysis because mode is more useful for non-numbers. So um, between the mean and median, median is more useful in level 1, So, but we were going to calculate both the mean and median. So when we compare the mean, the numbers for the mean and median and all the other statistics are on the left hand side of the graph. Okay. So the pure breed minus the cross breed, the mean for Pure breed is 4,512.8, while the mean for the cross breed is 2,743.8. So the difference in mean is that the pure breed is bigger by 1,769 dogs. Okay? If we compare the median, the median is also found on the left hand side of the graph. The pure breed has 4,063.5, while the cross breed has 2,408, and therefore the median for the pure breed is bigger by 1655.5 dogs. So what is the conclusion? Since the pure breed has a bigger mean and median, we can confidently conclude that the pure breed dogs is registered more than the cross breed dogs. Got it? Great. Now we're looking at the second of the analysis. The second analysis is called the spread. The spread is made up of the range and interquartile range we look at the range first. The range is just the maximum minus the minimum. Again, it is found on the left-hand side of the graph. Okay, So the range of the pure breed is 20,454 minus the maximum is 20,454 and the minimum number is 256 and it come up to 20,198. While the cross breed, the range is 16,233, that's the maximum, and minus 1 to 1, that's the minimum, and it comes up to 16,112. So from the figure there, we can confidently say that the pure breed range is bigger. And you can see from the graph, this is the range for the pure breed and this is the range for the cross breed. So the range is bigger for the pure breed than the cross breed. So similarly, we are looking at the interquartile range. For level 1, interquartile range is more important than range. So the pure breed the interquartile range, you find the upper quartile minus the lower quartile found again on the left hand side of the graph. The upper quartile is 5,877.5 and lower quartile is 2,460.5 and the interquartile range for pure breed is 3,417 dogs. The interquartile range for cross breed is 3,883 take away 963, the upper quartile is 3883 and the lower quartile is 963 and we come up to the answer of 2920. Again, the pure breed has a bigger interquartile range than the cross breed. This is seen by the box. Okay, The, the, the pure breed dog has a slightly bigger interquartile range than the cross breed box. So because the pure breed has a bigger range and bigger interquartile range. We can conclude that the pure breed dog has a bigger spread than the cross breed dog. Got it? Great. Now we're going to analyze three more stuff. And this time we are going to analyze uh, the shift, the shape, and some unusual data. The shift is you look at the box, which box is more shifted to the right. Means uh, in our case, the pure breed dog is shifted more to the right or the box is also called the middle 50% is shifted more to the right. So what can you conclude? If it's shifted more to the right, we can conclude that pure breed dogs in the each council has a bigger it, it has a bigger registration than the cross breed dog because they are more to the right, the bigger number there. 
So the shape, shape could be three main shape. One is called the symmetrical, means the uh, normal bell shape curve, skewed to the right and skewed to the left. Or if, 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 it can be, if there's no shape at all, then you call it irregular shape. Okay. So in our case, if you look at the dot plot, this time you have to look at the dot plot, it looks more like a shape for going downwards. So it's more like this. So we can say that both the crossbreed and the pure breed dog, it is skewed more to the right. And last but not least, we look at the unusual data. The outliers, there are two outliers in each, one outlier in the crossbreed dog and one outlier in the pure breed dog. And you always have to mention, we'll investigate further to see if that number is correct. Okay, great. Last but not least, okay, we are going to analyze using the final conclusion. Whatever we talked earlier is not so important. So the final conclusion is based on whether the median lies inside each other's box. So in our case, if this median lies in this box, if both of the median lies in each other's box, then we cannot make the claim that one has a bigger number than the other. So we look at our case, okay? So in our case, this box, the median lies seem to be outside and we'll confirm them, okay? So this will can con be confirmed by the half three quarter rule. So if half of one category is greater than three quarter of the other category, then we can make the claim that the number of registration of one category is bigger than the other. So in our case, half of pure breed dog, the median here, if you look at the number here, the median is 4,063.5, okay? And the upper quarter or the 75% or three quarter of the other category, which is the upper quarter, which is 3,883, okay? So if 4,000, if 4,063.5 is bigger, is bigger than 3,883, then we can conclude that the number of registration for pure big dogs is more than the registration for cross big dog because half of the pure big dog is more than the three quarter registration of the cross big dog. Hope you understand this and I'll see you soon. Cheers.